name is Samantha Valera. I work at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. I am an adoption coordinator. Um, basically adopt out all the animals that come through the shelter. I mean, there's a lot of us, not just me. So somebody comes into the shelter and they want to visit with an animal. We take them out for a visit. We talk about medical, um, you know, what's best for the animal, kennel training, um, treats, food, uh, a lot of different things as well. Um, but yeah, I've been here for almost two years now. January will be my second year um, and it's just great. <laughs> The shelter is an event where um, all the animals are free, um, all the dogs, all the cats, you know, hammies. Um, basically, it's it's a pretty big event. A lot of people show up, um, so it's, it's one of the biggest events that we have. It's a nationwide event, so it's not just Humane Society. I believe the Pet Resource Center does it as well, um, and a couple of other shelters do it as well. But um, yeah, a lot of people come here to the Humane Society to adopt their animal. Clear Shelter event has been going on, I would say, since 2014, um, and it, I mean, it is every single year. Last year, we did about 72, I think, adoptions that one day. Um, this uh, last year, I believe it was on August that we had the Clear Shelter event, we did 92 adoptions the whole day. I just love seeing them going to, going to a home that, you know, they're actually going to be loved and cared for and taken care of. The new adopters get all happy and excited. They're taking videos of me walking down with their animals, stuff like that. It's great. Taking in animals, I don't know if that's really a challenge. Um, I mean, we do definitely have the resource for it. Especially with expanding our shelter, we're going to have an even um, you know, bigger shelter to take in more animals, so that would definitely help. But we do take in so many animals. Um, at pretty much every single day, we take in owner guardian surrenders. We take in strays. We take in transfers as well. We get in a lot of transfer from, transfers from different shelters. Not much of a, a difficulty or anything. Um, sometimes it can be hard finding them a home. You know, sometimes it takes animals a little bit more. Seniors, you know, bigger dogs, pit bulls, you know, there's a stereotype of pit bulls. But it's sometimes a little bit hard for the animals to find a good home, but no matter what, they stay here until they do. Buying a puppy from a seller, it, you know, you don't really, you're not very guaranteed on their health-wise, um, you know, especially if you go to like the pet stores, um, that most animals come from puppy mills. Animals there are very sick, they won't last very long. Um, it's really sad just, you know, what they're doing with breeding all these animals just to make the money for them. Um, so getting from a shelter environment is definitely the best thing you can do. Um, you could literally just look up puppy mills on YouTube and you'll find a lot of really bad things about that. We in general are trying to keep the, you know, the animals off the streets, so that is why we're spaying and neutering. You know, the ones from the puppy mills or, or stores and stuff, they, I don't believe they all um, spay and neuter because they want, you know, more breeding. It's definitely hard not to get attached to some animals, but, you know, I, I because I love animals a lot and before I started working here I used to try and get like every animal I could um, and I knew I couldn't do that you know with my house so um, I just told myself no matter what if um, I could I would only adopt an animal if they are not adoptable and all the ones I've fostered have been able to get adopted so that's why I've, I haven't done that but it's very very hard not to get attached don't shop is what everybody says you know it's the safest thing uh, best thing for all the animals in the world not just you know the one that you're adopting it finds an animal home um, you're not getting from a store where or, you know that's it's not the best thing you can do safest thing to do uh, the shelter event one of our biggest events as well you know like I said we adopted out 92 animals in just that one day so it really really helps finding animals home and not just those animals that got adopted but also clearing space for the shelter so we can take in more animals for the shelter so it definitely helps um, you know not just those but much more um, so yeah as, as best thing to do is get from a shelter environment